Man, tell me, what is the reason that you came out here to support this event today? Man, we've been supporting these, these guys since they first restarted the league about three years ago. And we're still supporting them today. It's a beautiful thing, seeing the community come together. And it's all about the kids, you know. We wanted to send them out in style. I've gone four Camaro drop tops down, five of them for the kids to leave in style. And, you know, we just this is what it's about. Not even just for this this generation, but for the next generation of young kids out here that seeing the 13 U get the love they get. This inspiring them to continue to do great things. And what these boys is headed to that World Series, yo, it ain't nothing like it. It's magical. I think it's great. I think it's very excellent. If you look around right now, everybody came out to show them love. It feels good, you know. First time. It feels good. Not only for the boys, but for our community, uh, it's definitely major a major impact on baseball in the African American community. Letting everybody know that yes, we are here, we are West Louisville, and we do have a team. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for them uh, to be able to go out and represent the, not only the state but the community as well. Uh, I was a part of West Louisville sports. My kids grew up uh, playing baseball down here, so I'm a big supporter, and I think uh, all the, the entire community should be around uh, should, should support them as well. You see what it does? Unite. You feel what I'm saying? Anybody united can't be defeated. You feel me? 100. So first of all, um, this is something that they are going to be able to tell their kids, their grandkids, and their great-grandkids. This is something that they'll never forget. I mean, like, this is a once-in-a-generation type of thing. This does everything for kids. I mean, it's exposure, it's winning, it's success, it's feeding the community, it's feeding the kids' spirits, feeding the parents. You know, it's a great thing for West Louisville. I couldn't be more proud. I just had to come down and give my little donation, you know, and hope to come back and recognize them, win or lose, at the council, and all the parents and coaches and everybody who's been involved in this. We need this kind of thing in our community. Man, this is a blessing. I'm here with DJ Cam, 12 Mr. FTC here, represent Real 931 at Hall Media. It's a pleasure to be a part of history about being something positive for these kids. The history is nothing new for my city because the greatest athlete of all time came from here. But it's time the history repeats itself and we want to be a part of that. We want that chill. Let's get it. I really appreciate this community coming together. Because when I first started at West Louisville, it was hard to get Tell everybody to come. Day. Tell them again. Thank Tell you. To get everybody to come together. We came close so many times to go to the World Series. I can name the coaches. Coach Nate Payne, Coach Barry, Coach Dishman. I can go on and on. My brother, rest in peace, Coach Jock. But I'm telling you. West Louisville should bring it home at that age. It's cool to see everybody, you know, used to play baseball here, so this is where I'm from. You know, you remember about what, it's been about three years ago, we had the Ali Parade come through the city, and, and it was just so much love, Phil. And when I pulled in here today, I felt that same type of spirit throughout the West Louisville community and the love. And you see all these people out here for these kids? That's huge, man. It's huge. It builds community pride. Yes. You know, everybody always says the West End is the best end. Well, we got to make it that again. You know, and things like this in our community, not somewhere else, does, it goes a long way to helping the community feel better and to heal. This is almost like a once in a lifetime thing. This is a historical moment, and I'm very proud of West Louisville. I coach down here, my son plays down here, so it's a very good thing, a very good look for West Louisville. I hope it brings more kids down here to play. I don't think the community understands what it is. There's not enough people out here right now, but I tell you this. Uh, it's a great group of, group, group of kids. Uh, they put their heart and soul into this, so we should back them and support them uh, because they love the game and they, uh, they're they supporting all of us. It means a lot. I mean, keep them out of trouble. Give them something extra to do. It feels good. You know, we all together, you know, first time, you know, we experience it all together. It's full. It, look at this. It's a zoo out here right now, man. It's crazy out here. The whole 502 came out and supported it. And we're still seeing people pulling in their cars and everything. TP 965, we came out. Yo, the 502 is embracing it. Uh -huh. Full hearted. What's good? I have a nephew that's in the league. I got two nephews and a niece that's in the league. They're not uh, 12, 13 year olds yet, but I volunteer. Whatever I can do to help my community, whatever I can do to make my community look good, I'm here volunteering. So that's why I'm here. I was interviewing my nephew, Jalen Burton, number 10. He was talking about this hasn't been done in 21 years. So who's to say this will ever happen again? And I'm so happy to be a part of this event. Even if my nephew wasn't on the team, I would still be right here because I'm a fabric of the Western of Louisville. I'm from the Western of Louisville. I, I represent not just the Western of Louisville, Louisville period, man. I am Louisville. I am 
Louisville. So I had to be here, man. So um, whether they win or not, they're already winners. But we do want them to come home with the ship, though. That's where we're about. We bring home championship trophies to the city. So it's lifetime. It's a lifetime experience. You know, uh, kids coming from the inner city. I grew up a, a few streets away from here. You know, every day we don't get we, we don't get exposed to a lot of things. And the use of sports, being able to expose us to different things is huge. It, it, it's, a, it's a warm feeling. It's definitely needed. It's definitely more positive than it is negative. And as much as we bring out the positive in the community, we can we can prosper. We can soar. We can take off. So the more positive energy, the more positive influences that we have in our community, the more that these kids will see there's a brighter future. It's got to be wonderful for them. It's got to be. I mean, because they might not have ever had a chance again. You know what I'm saying? Never. It's like going to the Super Bowl. You only get there once, you might not get back. West End, go down to the Bay Room, Arkansas, let them know where the real champions are from, and bring it on back home. And Jalen Burton, number 10, we about to win the ship. You know what it is? Hey. Like I said, this is a historical moment, you know what I'm saying? So I, I hope it just, like it just brings everybody together, you know what I'm saying, work together. And I hope it does something for this league, because West Louisville Sports has been here for a long time. It's a very competitive league, but it's underrated. And now I think it's about time they get their just deserved.